What are they doing on renewable or alternative energy? A lot of oil companies are investing in uh, biofuel companies in Silicon Valley or dabbling here and there as to, to learn. Much. They're not, not doing much. much. I mean, Lee Raymond used to say, we ought to emblazon on the granite in front of our headquarters the words crude oil. They were very, they, they remain in many ways proud that they are oil and gas purists. Oil in their veins. Oil in the, and they mocked BP uh, in the, and BP drove them crazy with its successful marketing campaign building a logo that had a yellow sun and little green trim and building a solar power plant uh, 33 miles from Washington, D.C., which happened to be within a day trip for members of Congress to see what BP was doing, as if 98 percent of their revenue didn't come from oil and gas production. So, uh, you know, ExxonMobil said, well, at least we're not hypocrites. That was kind of their, their line. Uh, other times they'd be more generous, you know, more power to them. They'd, they'd pulled off a hard trick greening an oil company. but. Um, they didn't go down that, that path, and they, someone at BP, while I was doing this research, told me, you know, it was well in, he was a senior, in a senior position, should have been in a position to know, he said, it was well understood within BP that all this spending on alternative energy was in lieu of spending money on television ads trying to convince people of things they knew not to be true. So it was, it was a smarter marketing decision to spend $200 million on a solar power plant that you never expected to make money, but it was a real thing. It was a real investment. Members of Congress could see it. It was concrete. It wasn't like a TV campaign of scientists saying, yes, and we really are thinking about the world's future. And so it was, it was just an alternative marketing strategy, in, in essence. Um, ExxonMobil eschewed that, and they also didn't see any investments that they actually believed in by their own management committee's, you know, finance standards. The one exception they undertook was an investment in uh, algae as a potential um, uh, source of uh, biofuels. Their criteria has always been, at least their declared criteria is, we won't invest in anything that requires government subsidies to be competitive. And we won't invest in anything that won't offer returns consistent with the returns we can make from oil and gas. And we want to invest in anything that doesn't scale to really the whole global system, or at least the whole national system, because we're not interested in small projects. We're too big to, to waste our time with small things. So algae sort of had the potential to meet all those criteria if you could engineer um, a form of algae that would generate biofuels that could blend with gasoline and replace uh, the kind of gasoline we use now in our entire national system. But Apparently, their early experiments haven't gone very well, and they seem to be backing down from the, that initial set of commitments. 